you know, I went out today. I had to go down to the clinic and pick up my insulin and stuff. And I, I knew I had to get up early. So I had to make myself fall asleep early. Get off there and that. You know, get my stuff together. Relax. Stop stressing about things. Freaking get some sleep so I felt good enough to drive safely on my motorcycle. Get to the clinic early. Deal with whatever because sometimes there's issues, you know. I'm the kind of person that I give up trying to yell or demand or or just say, oh, I don't know, you know. I don't want to say I try to scheme, but I try to think my way through the puzzle of the bureaucracy. You know, uh, sometimes I try to pay attention to dates when I order stuff. I try to freaking sweet talk my way into getting things early so I don't have to make another trip, even though sometimes I know it's not going to happen. Although sometimes it does. There's odds. You know, and basically I just work the system. You know, not, not, I'm not trying to, you know, get ahead on anybody. I'm just trying to be most efficient I can to get what I need done. Get in, get out, and get home. I need to get out more and stuff, but I'm in a catch-22 because while I need to get out more... When I get out more, there's times I feel like it wears me down. And yet, I need to do that to be more active. And I just, I don't know. I, I'm trying to build myself up instead of being some hermit. Because I don't want to get caught in what I consider the trap. The trap is when you don't have a vehicle or money for gas or insurance or anything and you've got no way to get to somewhere to make money of course everyone in my family just got a check and I was like told I had to make something of myself well you know I I I did in home for a while and I did house cleaning and I did a lot of hard labor jobs like roofing and in the middle of the summer and construction and a bunch of other things when I was younger, but I just can't hack that anymore. And I mean, you know, I, I, there was, I have a leak in this back shed and I had a garbage can there, a little friggin', I don't know, 20 ounce or 20 gallon things and stuff. Uh, maybe more like five gallon. No, more like a gallon. That's it. I, I get those things confused. And... I lifted it up to freaking take it into the toilet to dump it, you know, and it's like my heart was just racing. But I, I go to freaking SSI or, you know, and I'm thinking about going down to general assistance and stuff, and it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I can't move and freaking blah, 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 you know, and they go, well, if you would get out and do a more active lifestyle, you would find that you wouldn't have these kind of problems, and this is all a problem of your weight. And you're right, it is a problem of my weight. You know, I, I can't even get on here and freaking do the freaking fat guy thing, you know. Oh, you know, look at my man, Jenny! You know, what the fuck is that, you know? And, and, you know, but at the same time, I'm not the little charming fat guy either that... It's freaking all cultured and nice and all smiley, you know. I, I can't find my freaking niche, you know. And it's driving me crazy because while I don't want to get into the trap, I don't want to freaking go out in the world anymore. You ever seen that old science fiction movie, Silent Running? I think it was called Silent Running. Freaking where this guy was in a space dome. He was just real hippied out, hippie and stuff. He was all freaked out. And yet at the end, he freaking, he floated away in his little eco space dome because the planet had freaking, all the planet, all the plant life on the world had gone away. You know, we all know now that that would be the end of the oxygen and people. But back then, you know, they just had ludicrous themes for sci-fi. But, you know, at the end, he just freaking, he just 
blew away, you know, and frankly, this is like my little earth ship. You know, if I had a way to be self-sufficient, or I could be some YouTuber, I could just get a stupid freaking SSI check like half the retards I know freaking on here do, you know? I, I, really, I should just show them my freaking YouTube videos, and that would be it. You know, I'd probably get a big fat check right there, you know? Oh, you're way eligible. But you know what I'm afraid about about that? I will never say, oh, don't, 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 give me a check, because they'll say, don't, 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 don't. We have a freaking pharmaceutical industry that will profit from you, and you have just signed yourself up for mandatory freaking prescriptions that we feel will not hurt a certain percentage of the masses, but maybe do a recall, and therefore you will have freaking loppy head, you know? It's in their best interest to freaking make their money, and and you are a secondary consideration in your health to their bottom line and to the mass of people they can help. I do not trust the mental health institution, you know, and I will never collect a check from them from that. I don't care if people say I'm fucking Lulu in the cuckoo, you know. Hey, maybe I am a little in the cuckoo, but when I understand I'm a little Lulu Lu put it up. Lulu in the cuckoo, you know, that makes it seem that I'm a little bit too cognitive to be someone who's receiving benefits. And besides, I like to be self-sufficient if I could be anyway, you know, and if I could sit there and make these cognitive realizations and stuff, especially about bigger institutions such as that, I have a problem with actually ever bringing myself to do that. Finally, it scares the frack out of me. I already said fuck, but you know. Really, it does. It, it scares me. You know, I've seen what my ex-girlfriend went crazy. My freaking roommate was crazy. I had some other friends that turned out to be crazy. Half the people I know on the internet are really freaking crazy. You know who you are. And it's just, you know, it's like I can almost diagnose this. Diagnosis. I can almost diagnose it. I, I did take freaking psychology in high school and you know I didn't do very good in it but I'm afraid I learned all the things just enough to freaking learn you know what I think I know and I probably don't know jack you know what I mean but from there on I've studied it and I've watched a bunch of freaking shows you know like 60 psycho dramas you know psycho sense mysteries and you know it's just screwy freaking stuff but still it's scary you know and it's like, when you see this in the system, you know you do not want to be part of that system. You know what I mean? But I I'm coming down to the wire here because I'm like, okay, I've got to find a place I can be functional. I've got to find a place I can do something. And yet, I also have to find a place that I don't feel like I'm freaking grinding myself down to a freaking nub. You know? God, where am I going to fucking cut it? You know what I mean? What am I going to do? I, 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 you know, oh, boo-hoo, you know, when people out there really doing problems, you know. Because I used to work in retail, and every year I'd see people come in and I'd see people wash out because freaking the, the need for labor, the demand for it, freaking shrank and grew with the seasons. You know, it diminished in the summer, and it grew in the freaking winter, unlike the freaking, uh, you know, uh, hardware, major hardware retailers that freaking grew in the summer and shrank in the winter, you know, and it's like, you know, and I just see people of all races and, and it was a minority filled area, so people of ethnicity had actually a little bit better freaking floating from job to job, but these people were younger people and stuff, and they were not older, and that's the way freaking business is going, and now since we're in an actual mini depression, not recession, depression, you know, it's impossible getting jobs because freaking state workers out there freaking, you know, doing this stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, um, excuse me, sir, I would just like to know, would you like fries with that, you know? God, dude, would you like freaking the guy who was freaking helping me with the freaking tax form a while ago? Oh, well, you know, times are different. Oh my god! Yes, I guess they are! Oh, whoa. God? Uh, whatever. 